Good morning, children. Uh, today we'll be starting a new chapter. Hope you understood the previous chapter about cyber uh, security, where you have to back up and restore, and uh, how you you know use a Wi-Fi protection and your mobile protection, email protection, email scam protection. Today we'll be learning about cyber crimes, the different crimes that are being created and how do we avoid such type of crimes. Let me share the screen with you. Yeah, this is seven chapter, um, cyber security awareness. We are going to learn about password, virus, the different types of virus, worm, trojan, ransomware, spyware, hope to at least uh, finish till spyware. Uh, let's start right away. First thing we learn is your password. What is a password? Everybody knows it's a type of a tool that helps you to protect your system and from, uh, you know, protecting all the information that is used in your system and getting all your work done without being, uh, you know, watched by others. So passwords are important tools for protecting information system and getting your work job done. So always remember that your password should be always kept as a secret and you need to protect yourself and your work from all, uh, you know, crimes. So, and suppose if you have many uh, passwords for each thing, especially when you're on your, uh, you know, cell phone you have for for whatsapp one password for facebook a password for such type of things when you have several passwords then it is permissible or permissible you have the permission to record and store all these things at a safe place and never let anybody access your uh, you know computer where things are being saved now what is the meaning of password theft Password theft is nothing but somebody who steals your password and starts, you know, using your system. So passwords can be stolen or it can be duplicated uh, when you have constructed a very poor password. If your password is easy to access, then people can access even your system. And most password thefts occur because of poor construction of passwords and they can be done also out of social engineering. Social engineering, you'll be learning about it. It's something where somebody makes you, gets you into giving all your, uh, you know, um, personal information, saying that you lost your bank account and your bank account is being hacked or your Facebook is being hacked, such type of thing. They start sending you applications and saying that you need to give all the, and even when you trust many people, you give many things. So that's social engineering. You'll be learning about it. Now, what is poor password construction? Some of the factors that uh, you can say lead to this poor password construction is um, something, the common words that are easily, uh, you know, accessed through a dictionary or passwords. Uh, when you are creating your password, mostly you use your personal life uh, things referring to your personal life, like any of your uh, family name, your family member's name, your pet name, your date of birth, your nickname, and uh, such type of things. When you use such, of, such type of thing, very close people who are close to you are, can easily access, even people, um, you know, over the net who see your information through Facebook and many other things, they can just understand what type of password you use and access your computer. So easily identified passwords, they are an invitation for hackers to take all your personal information, including your bank details and hack your money. Take all your, uh, your account, hack your account and take all your money. So how should you create your password? First thing is every password should have at least eight characters. And there's an example given here where he has used three types of things, four types, I should say, to construct his password. First, he used an uppercase alphabet. In uh, Then he used ABCD, which is a lowercase alphabet. Then he used one, two, three, which is number case. And an ampersand and which is a special character. 
So he's used four types of uh, characters to create his password. So this is the best construction for creating a strong password. So he said, use at least four, three of these types of uh, characters mentioned below for creating your password. Either you use a uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special characters. And also remember that you need to change your password at least every 90 days so that a person who's trying to hack your password will not be able to do it because your password is being changed quite often. So using the above rules, this will help you to avoid hackers and your password will be strong. The next part of it, we are going to learn about virus. Virus is nothing but vital information resource which has been under seized. Your, your computer is being seized. You're not able to, your computer is being hacked or your computer gets halt, halted. So these are the type of things which says under seized. A computer virus is a type of molecular software. It's a virus software program. And it's also termed as malware. So when you start executing anything, uh, when this uh, malware or this virus starts executing, it starts replicating itself. It duplicates itself. Two uh, viruses become four viruses. So it starts duplicating itself so fast. And it does a lot of modification to your computer program. Where you want to use your program, you're not able to access certain things because of the modifications done to your computer program. And it starts inserting its own code, not allowing you to use your programs. So the computer gets uh, starts infecting the program files, <clears throat> your data files, even your boot sector. Your books, boot sector is nothing but when you start your computer, the computer boots to start. So that booting sector is being, you know, uh, while the virus gets into the boot sector and does not allow your computer to even start. So when these viruses start replicating themselves, they affect a large era, area in the computer. All the stored files start getting infected. And so the virus gets into it and all your program file starts doing different, doesn't do the work that you really want it to do. So the term virus refers to malware. It's a molecular software also termed as malware. Virus is nothing but a malware. The other forms of molecular virus, some of these examples of molecular virus or malwares are computer worms. You know, worms start replicating themselves. You'll be learning about it. Trojan horse, ransom, spyware, adware, key loggers, rootkits, molecular browser helpers, BHO, and other molecular software. Some of them will be learning in this chapter. So you'll understand what type of virus does what type of damage to your computer. So the very first one, what we are going to learn is worm virus. What's a worm virus? A worm virus is a virus that starts replicating themselves. This virus makes a copy of itself over and over again that just, uh, you know, uh, becomes very dangerous because it gets into your memory and your memory starts getting full. There's no more storage for the other applications to start work. First, it starts slowing down and finally your computer comes to a total halt. Some of these type of worm virus are W32, VB worm, QXE worm, uh, Darwin32, love letters, love bugs. These are type of worm viruses. These are the names for it. And where does this worm virus come from? The common, most common way of transmitting the worm virus is through your attachments. When you get attachments, mostly through the emails and you open the attachment, the worm virus through that attachment gets into your computer. Even when you are sharing your files over the net. See, when you're sharing files, you want to send the file from your computer to your, um, you know, uh, your cell phone, then you are using uh, file share and so many other things. So when you are using uh, vShare, you use vShare for sharing files. So file sharing networks also uh, have links to these, uh, you know, inserting molecular uh, softwares into it because these websites do have molecular virus. How do you prevent your computer from worms? Always be careful when you're uh, doing this file sharing and see that you don't open suspicious attachments or links. Always maintain an updated antivirus and 
see that you always have a firewall in your computer because the firewall immediately tells you uh, when a virus if a virus is there in any type of software that you are downloading. The next type of virus what we are seeing is the Trojan. Trojan actually comes from a Greek story. Uh, this uh, Trojan horse is a story written by Homo uh, Eliot. Um, it's actually a true story where um, these Greeks, they want to destroy their enemy's uh, city that city is called Troy. So what they do is they send a big wooden horse to uh, Troy. And inside the horse, there are many uh, soldiers hidden inside the horse. And they just tell them that they are sending it up as, as a peace offering to Troy. So Troy accepts the Trojan, the horse, thinking it's a gift for them, a present for them, a peace offering present for them. So they get, uh, get the uh, horse inside and um, in the night when everybody's asleep, these uh, soldiers sneak through the house and they get into the city. They open the city gates and attack the city, try and destroy it. So it's, uh, I think you should see the movie, try. It almost comes every time on the star movies. You can always see the movie at any time. You'll understand what's try. So it's something similar to this movie, how these uh, virus gets into the computer. So Trojan horse, they do not replicate themselves, but they are very destructive. They carry such de destructive virus that they that introduces themselves into your computer, into your network. What does the Trojan horse program? It rids your com it acts as if it's ridding your computer. It tells you that it's getting rid of uh, viruses. This is the virus that is there. We are deleting such and such a virus, but instead of deleting the virus, it starts introducing this Trojan virus into your computer and it starts getting activated. The Trojan virus, it's a type of uh, cyber crime that is they start spying on your computer and they steal all your sensitive information. That's your credit card, your information, like whatever businesses you're doing. And it's like they come through a back door and access all the information in your system. And some actions that they that they can do is they start deleting your data, important data. They start deleting, they block your data where you can't read the data or any things that are coming, important things that are coming for you to access. They modify your data, what uh, you've given some, you know, uh, data into your computer, they start changing the data. They copy the data, disrupt the performance of your computer and the network. And so these are so many damages that the Trojan has. I think it's one of the most uh, worst virus that could come into your computer because it's doing so much of harm to your computer that the important data is being deleted and blocked and modified and your computer finally, the network is destroyed. Some of these Trojan uh, uh, names are Clemmy, Kiddo, Fake AV. These are some of the names for the Trojan horse. Coming to the next type of virus. Um, the next type of virus. Uh, okay, let's see where the Trojan horse comes from. Trojan horse comes from infected email attachments. And they automatically, once you open this attachment, they get downloaded into your computer and you don't know where they hide. Uh, Mostly they come through the games that you download, some applications that you require, movies when you download, when you download greeting cards, you want to send a birthday greeting to your friend. A Trojan horse comes through these type of attachments. How would you recognize a Trojan horse? A Trojan horse makes your computer totally slow down. And because the processor finds it very hard to start processing, it doesn't understand what things are there in it because your data also is destroyed. So to identify such type of, uh, if your computer is being infected by a Trojan horse, use a Trojan scanner and you it finds all the Trojans that are there in your uh, computer and it starts rooming all those things. So a Trojan software is very important. It scans all these Trojans and also removes them from your computer. How do you recognize this Trojan virus? How do you recognize? First, most important thing is don't open un, uh, you know, unknown attachments. Also, to recognize them, you will find Trojan uh, some files which have extensions like .exe, .bbs, .bat. 
very important thing to do is always update your antivirus protection and especially preferably the firewall which stops all this thing from getting into your computer and warns you if there are any trojans getting into your computer uh, ransomware i'll do ransomware and then i think i'll stop ransom the word ransom only is something like somebody bribing you ransom usually happens when somebody kidnaps the, a kid and says i want a ransom of so much so much money so ransom is something like you know hacking things so what it does is this ransomware locks your system you are not able to use your computer they lock your system and it's um, in a way Uh, but people who are knowledgeable about the computer they know how to reverse this action and so they can unlock their computer and use uh, the computer again so ransom is not uh, not difficult to unlock for people who have knowledge about the computer but uh, people who are not much advanced in programming languages and all this it's very difficult for them so more advanced malware what they do is they call that crypto viral crypto viral is nothing but these type of uh, virus they start encrypting your files so when you are start when you want to read your file you're not able to read it it's just closed like a lock it is okay or it can show you encrypted files always show you all ciphers in it you cannot read it because there's not no english or except for cipher some zero and some other things so it makes it inaccessible it starts it encrypts all the in uh, your important data that you need to use and they start demanding a ransom ransom is nothing payment giving money to them to decrypt that is decrypt means open the access to use your computer so some of the most dangerous type of attacks of this ransom are wanna cry petia uh, cyber locky crypto locker ransomware these are the names for ransomware and where does ransomware come from ransomware is created by scammers who are having lot of knowledge high knowledge about computer programming as i told you people who have high knowledge can decrypt it Uh, unlock it but people who are high knowledgeable also create such type of ransom softwares to encrypt your computer it can enter your pc through email attachments through when you're browsing on uh, searching for anything it starts getting uh, when you browse it slowly loads into your computer if you happen to visit a website which has this type of malware this type of ransom malware if you visit the website and you're opening any files uh, to search maybe for your uh, learning to uh, information it automatically gets loaded in your uh, system and locks your system it can easily access your pc via network mostly this type of ransom uh, malware comes through the network i think we will stop here uh, we will continue the remaining type of viruses in the next class thank you for now have a nice day and do your homework